Hi, and welcome to Always Dolls. Now that American Girl has released Girl of the Year 2024 Lila Minetti and her collection, we are excited to craft a version of Lila's big ticket item, Honey Crisp Hill Horse Stable. Designed for grooming and washing, the enclosure is big enough for your doll and her horse. It features faux wood fencing with metal look railing details, built-in corner shelving for supplies and a washing station with large water tank, pretend hose with valve and sprayer. We also share how to make a simple horse blanket like hollyhocks and an easy feeding bin. Lila's stable was so fun to make and cost us a fraction of the American Girl price tag. Although a bigger playset, our DIY stable can be packed down for easy storage, freeing up more space in the doll room when playtime is over. Our dolls are ready for some riding fun and bonding time styling our Picasso. So let's get making! Start by cutting the stable walls from 5mm foam board. You can easily substitute this material with cardboard. On two panels, mark a corner curve using a dinner plate or similar round object. Trace the arc, then cut away this section. To cover the stable walls, we sourced these faux wood party crates. The wood grain is very close to AG's version. Here we patched the box pieces to cover the main wall, adhering them with liquid glue. Following this, add 2.5cm wide strips of black cardstock to the base and across the centre. Flip over and do the same to the underside. Repeat the process to cover your left and right side walls. To connect the walls, we are using paperboard hinges. Cut four and paint them black. Adhere the first hinge to the inside right corner, gluing the paperboard to both the main and right wall. This allows the wall to fold, reducing its size when closed up post play. Attach your second strip to just the inside left corner of the main wall. Position your left wall at a 90 degree angle and join it to the structure with your third hinge. The left wall will swing in the opposite direction creating an accordion star fold. Affix the fourth hinge to the outside edge of the main wall and complete the look with sticker gems for bolts. Now let's make the faux metal railings. For each railing, take two popsicle sticks and cut the tip at an angle. Glue the straight edges together at 90 degrees. This will be the arm piece. Roll a thick paper tube and glue it over the join. Along the arm, mark six dots evenly spaced apart. Squeeze out drops of hot glue over each dot to affix pieces of straw. These will become the bars of the railing. Our straws descend in length to copy the look seen in American Girl's version. Repeat this step on the other arm, then wrap a strip of black cardstock over the top to secure the straws in place. We also added drops of hot glue underneath the cardstock for more strength. Take more popsicle sticks to make the brackets. Cut off the curved tips and sand smooth. Glue a stick to both the inside and outside edge of each arm piece as seen on screen. Finish by affixing a bead top centre, then paint your rails black. The brackets slot over the foam board walls, reinforcing the corners whilst also looking stylish and sleek. Decorate the main wall with fake flowers and leaves. We screenshot a promotional image of the Honeycrisp Hill sign and matted it onto more foam board, then attached the sign and greenery to the wall with hot glue. Remember the cutouts from earlier? Use them to make shelves. Trace around the same plate to get curved corner pieces. 
Glue them to the wood grain chipboard and cut out. Make small holes 2 cm from each end, then insert a short length of toothpick into each hole. Allow 5 mm of overhang for a peg. Pierce corresponding holes into the walls, then pop the shelf pegs into the holes. This design element helps lock the walls into position whilst also being removable later. We made the decorative rails from silver crafting wire. Our horse wash station is made from paperboard. The top tank is just a rectangle wrapped around to form an oval shape. For internal support, take paper tubes. These are from an empty cling wrap roll and glue them inside the tank. Make the bigger tank in the same way. This time we glued three wider paper tubes inside. On more paperboard, trace the base of each tank and cut two pieces to seal up the top and bottom. Paint grey and black to match the AG version. Now cut apart the neck of a coat hanger to get a Y piece. Affix taps painted gold. Just click the card to see how we made this in a previous craft. For the valve, take a small cap and pierce a hole that fits a piece of chopstick. Next, punch four paperboard circles. Center the cap and cut away this area from each disc. Glue and stack together. Push the cap through the hole, but do not adhere it to the paperboard. Paint everything black, then affix only the paper to the top water tank. This way you can turn the valve for an interactive element. Glue your two tanks together, aligning them flush along the back edge. Add a hook made from more florist wire, then the tap. Make the sprayer from bottle caps, buttons and paper. Glue the nozzle element together first, then roll a paper tube for the wand. Hot glue it to a small glue stick cap and add a paperboard handle, testing it that it fits around your doll's hand. Paint the different sections blue and pink to match Lila's colour scheme, then join together with hot glue. Our hose is plastic cording bought from the haberdashery shop. Affix one end into the paper tube. Thread the cord through a bottle tamper ring and attach the other end to the bottom of the tap component. For a quick horse blanket, similar to hollyhocks, we painted the geometric pattern onto blue felt, leaving a 1cm border around the edge. For her feed bin, we have paper mache X letters and an empty rectangular box. We need to remove the lid and trim down the height of the box. Paint the bin white, then add a similar horseshoe graphic. We will leave a link to ours in the description box. Hot glue the paper mache legs to the underside of the box, then fill the bin with brown shredded paper used for filler in packaging. It's an inexpensive way to simulate horse hay. Great! Our DIY horse stable is finished. We are so excited to add this piece to our collection. It's stylish and fun, but also capable of folding down for easy storage post play. Let us know in the comments if you'd like a tutorial for the smaller horse accessories. If you enjoyed our crafting video, we'd love it if you hit the like button and subscribe to support our channel. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon for more miniature crafting fun!